Yep, saw that coming. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Octopath Traveler. So in the last episode, Primrose returned to her hometown of Noble Court in order to search for more of the men who murdered her father. And we have tracked him down, and I believe he is waiting for us on the other side of that doorway. So let's go give him a piece of our mind, shall we? Hello, sir. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? <laughs> like father, like daughter. So you were the one who clipped the left wing. And you are the right. I have waited too long for this day. The, this man is... No. He cannot be. You really did a number on us, didn't you? The left was responsible for maintaining and expanding our little circle of friends. I provided the coin and the power. We made quite the team, if I do say so myself. Nothing, no one could stand in our way. And now you've gone and fouled it up. <laughs> have I now? <laughs> Yeah, I, th I, th I have a feeling Primrose is giving, like, uh, uh, a cocky smirk, like, hmm, see how much I care. All I've done is removed a filthy scavenger from this world. One less crow, and our realm will be better off for it. <laughs> You're a bold one, I'll give you that. Ah, but it seems I have another guest today. It's been a while, old friend. So it is you, Lady Primrose. This is the man who disappeared after your father's murder. The man I feared dead. Albus, I thought you were a man of honor. What? Honor's all well and good, but it doesn't buy you much. How could I have been so blind? It was you who sold out Jeffrey to those villains! He trusted you more than anyone. And you stabbed him in the back for a post in the Godsdamned League! That's my second in command. A bit slow on the uptake, but you'd always figure it out in the end. This village was a rotten husk long before Jeffrey Azelhard met his end. Anyone with half their wits knew the Obsidians were pulling all the strings from the shadows. I simply cast my lot with the winning horse. A simple business decision. Lady Azelhart. Your father spoke grandly of peace and order until the day he met his end. He would talk of his vaunted faith and how it would shield the town from any danger. In the end, he couldn't even save himself. And now a field of headstones is all that remains of the once proud House Azelheart. I mean, there's an Azelheart standing right in front of you, dude, so no. Oh, and said Azelheart also is holding a dagger, which I believe she plans to plunge into your heart, neck, or any other vital locations. <laughs> Goes to show you what the faith of a fool is worth. You traitorous bastard! Lord Jeffrey was a thousand times the man you are! You'll sully his name no longer! Master Forsyth, enough! But Lady Primrose! The time for talk has ended. This man, if one can even call him a man, should not live a moment longer. There we go. There's a fire in your eyes, girl. Yes. It reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. I am Albus, proud bearer of the Mark of the Crow. 
Come at me, Primrose Azelheart. Gladly. Let's do this. I will see that you meet the same fate as your dear father. All right, here we go. You're going down, Albus. Now the question is, what freaking tricks does this guy have up his sleeve? If he's following the pattern of all the monsters that led up to him, he'll probably have a bunch of status effects moves. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to fight him and see, so... There we go, yeah, daggers was a pretty safe bet on that one. How about swords? Yes, there we go, perfect! Alright, that works out great. All four of my uh, party members can lower his defenses. And now what kind of damage can he do? Okay, 957. Pretty high, but I've seen higher from basic attacks. Even from non-boss monsters, like I'm pretty sure that, uh, that the bears near, uh, near Still Snow could do a bit more damage than that. Or at least on par with it. Of course, that's just his basic attacks. What kind of special moves does he have? Oh! Okay, yep, shoulder smash. Take that, Albus. Now we can just start beating the shit out of him. There we go, 5,000. And this should add at least another three or four thousand. Yep. Oh, well, okay, that was actually closer to five thousand than I thought it'd be. Yeah, no, Bewildering Grace is probably not a smart move for a boss fight, so no, I won't. <laughs> because several of the effects can either instantly kill me or heal him. Like, there are the effects that could summon a giant golem that absolutely destroys the enemy, but... You know, I don't think it's worth the risk. <laughs> Let's just hit him with Night Ode. Bring your shade. Okay, he's not vulnerable to dark damage, but hey, a little extra no. damage, I guess. Okay, here comes Albus again. What else is he gonna throw at me? Settle down, you whelps. Uh-oh. What did that do? Oh, okay, I see what it did. He gets two turns now. Okay. All right, Primrose, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. And yeah, Ulbrich and Therion will be able to use their divine skills in the next turn. All right. Well, so far this is pretty uh, pretty standard for a fight. Granted, it has only just begun, and he probably hasn't busted out any of his uh, really big, powerful moves yet. But so far, this is just pretty straightforward. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Okay, I was wondering. Okay, there we go. There's his, uh, there's his special moves. Did not expect that one of the moves to be named Flay Skin, though. That's just... Oh, that's gotta be one of the worst, one of the worst faces you can meet. Or at least up there, you know, like... It's like, uh, that, like, I used to watch this show called... I think it was Machines of Malice, which was literally... Just a show about, um, about ancient torture and execution devices. Like, it is a- it is a brutal subject, but at the same time, a very interesting one. And yeah, one- one particular, um, execution method that they used was, um, I forget what they called it, but basically what they did was they stripped you and strung you up in a cage next to a beehive and just let the bees sting you to death. <laughs> like, oh no. And I'm not sure if they covered it on the Bring show, but on. they also talked, but uh, there was also this one, I believe it was called, I can't remember exactly what it was called. I think it started with a G, but I think the English for, I think the English name was like Thousand Cuts or something. And basically they just, keep doing little cuts on you until you bled to death. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible what the human race can do to hurt other humans. All right, I still haven't found out these guys' weakness. Are they one of the spears? There we go, okay. That's better. All right, Albert, just hit him with thousand spear. Oh, okay, that's ha I didn't even notice. Albus is already in the yellow. Dang, this guy must not have a lot of health. I think once I get through his, uh, I think once I get through his bodyguards, I just gotta Continue hitting him and he'll go down in no time. Let's see, might as well check. Staffs? They're not vulnerable to staffs. Okay, so far I've still only got spears. Ow. Ow. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the status effect. Seek and blind. A thousand spears. Really, Alfin? I think you aimed for the guy I wanted you to aim for once. Ow. Oh boy, I better use Primrose to heal us up a little bit. 
Bring about a miracle of healing. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we Therion was looking a little rough there for a second. Did I test axes with Alfin already? Honestly, I think I only used I think I only used swords and spears with them. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did. Okay, they're vulnerable to axes. Ow! Oh boy, Therion's blind for four turns. That's gonna be annoying. Ow, and now Alfin's blind for three. Come on. Alright, come on. Is it gonna be enough to kill them? No. Uh, did it at least put them in the red? Uh-oh. Death to the... <laughs> Say what? Alright. Well, that's kind of bullshit. Oh my goodness. Death to the unseeing. So I can only assume that that move is like a, uh... Anyone who's blind has like a... Has like so much of a chance of going down instantly because both Therion and Primrose went down. Stay strong. There we go. Okay, welcome back, Therion. Jeez, I did not expect a move like that, though. That is... That is harsh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alpish brandishes his dagger ominously. Oh, no, this is going to suck. <laughs> okay, you mentioned I'll show you true darkness. That'll, that will probably means it'll have something to do with, uh, with the blinding status effect, so... Alvin will be healed by the end of this turn, so let's use on Ulbrick. Oh boy, and just hope that this move doesn't do too much damage. Ow! You shall be healed. Oh jeez. Okay, here it comes. Oh, I slash. Jeez. Okay, all right. The thing I said about this fight being straightforward, I take it back. <laughs> oh boy, this is actually kind of brutal. Oh boy, and the enemy team gets three turns beforehand. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use a slightly boosted first aid on Ulbrich and hope that he goes in to defend Therion if, if push comes to shove. That'll do her. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Ulbrich, I'm counting on you. Oh boy. There we go. Nice job, Ulbrich. There oh jeez. Oh jeez. Holy crap. Okay. Dang! <laughs> I, I, I... What the shit? I did not expect that! I mean, I thought he would go in for, like, the block of a couple moves, but he literally took every single slash from Flay's skin. Dang, Ulrich, like... Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Good on ya, buddy. <laughs> Alright, well, let's bring him back again. There we go. Jeez, Ulbrich. Yeah, this fight really ramped up quickly, didn't it? Self-sacrifice. Wait, what happened there? What did... What? What did... Why was that move called self-sacrifice? I don't think he took any damage from that. You can't be naming a move something like self-sacrifice and not have it damage the person who uses it. That would be like a Pokemon shrugging off its own self-destruct damage. Like it's literally in the name of the move. <laughs> oh no, not this again. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's going to suck. Oh jeez. All right, freaking Thousand Spear, come on. Oh, that did not do as much damage as I hoped. Uh, shit, should I do, should I do Thousand Spear again? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it, come on. There we go, yes! Okay, that helped. That killed one of them. Please hit and be enough to kill him. Yes, thank you! Okay, Albus is defenseless, but he's gonna- Oh, he's going for the eyes! Okay, we're good still. We're good still. Alright, and we got- and we get- and we get all of our turns before his next turn. So, uh, yeah, we are definitely using <laughs> Alfin's move to heal us up. Uh, yeah, let's use a healing great bunch. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, people, put a stop to this guy. Oh, dang it, one of the mist. Ah, oh, come on. No, no. Well, so much for four turns being enough to stop him. No, stop missing. Ah, oh, no. No, do not. Okay, but Albus's men can't fight no more. Thank goodness. Holy crap. For a split second there, my heart dropped a little. That would have absolutely sucked if he summoned his men again. Oi, oi, oi. All right, come on, people. Hit him. Thank you. Duh. Oh, no. 
Okay, here he comes. He gets two turns before we can attack him again. Oh, jeez. Play skin. Ah, that's an annoying one. Okay, nice job. Ah, okay, we're fine. Primrose, heal now. Okay, we're in a semi-comfortable position now. We got decent health, none of us are blinded, and we get plenty of turns before he gets to go. So yeah, I think we can open us up his defenses and then Ulbrich and Therion should be able to use their defined skills on him. Okay, there we go. Now's our chance to go in for the kill. Come on, do as much damage as possible here, people. Oh, and he's in the red, sweet. Maybe Eber's Reckoning will be enough to end him? It probably won't, but I can hope. Time to steal the show. Nope, nope, okay. Well, it did decent amount of damage still. Out of my way. Oh, heck yeah, there we go, okay. Woo, all, right all it took was a little cross strike to finish him off. All right, well, that was an interesting way to, to structure a boss fight. You know, most bosses you tend to be like, uh, you know, really tough and like, you know, really strong. And uh, that one was more, he was more like a glass cannon because he seemed to have a lot less health than the other bosses. It's just that, you know, when he called in his, um, his, uh, his entourage to protect him, that's when things got a little, uh, that's when things got a little rough. But once they were dealt with, that was actually kind of straightforward. And then there was one. There was no warrior in noble court more fierce than he. You fought wonderfully, Lady Primrose. All right. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, what's on your mind, Primrose? Oh, hello. Simeon? What are you doing here? <laughs> ah, Primrose. Fancy meeting you here. This guy's the head of the crow, isn't he? What brings you to this terrible place? Ah, but of course. About that, you see... There's something I simply had to tell he you. He is totally the head of the crow. Get out of there, Primrose. Yep, saw that coming. What? Simeon? Oh, I'm sorry. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. And you know what they say about birds of a feather. The mark. Of the crow. But. But why? Simeon! Do forgive me, Lady Primrose. There was just one thing I forgot to mention. The head of the obsidians, the crow atop the roost, and oh yes, the one who killed your dear, dear father. It was me. No. Can't be. Bravo. Oh, bravo, Lady Primrose. I knew you had it in you. That was a virtuoso performance, my love. The audience gasps. At long last, she tracks down the villain she's been hunting all these years, only to find out it is her one true love. Look at the tears she weeps, the blood she spills, and pity her. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! <laughs> oh, jeez. Fare thee well, my poor, poor love. Oh, dear. All right, Ravello, are you there? I could use a hand here. Lady Primrose? Yes. Yes. Get back here. Help me up. Lady Primrose! Oh, boy. Hmm? Simeon? 
Yes, what do you want? Where are you going? To work. Where else? The hedges want for trimming. Who cares about the gardens? Won't you stay with me? I feel so much at peace when you're with me. Won't you read me one of your poems, pretty please? As you wish, my lady. And worry not your pretty heart. I will always be watching over you. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, well, that was a load of... That was a crock of shit there, wasn't it? <laughs> was it all a dream? Uh, oh, yeah, probably not the best to, for, to make any sudden movements yet, Primrose. No, that nightmare was all too real. Thank the heavens, you've come back to us at last. Darling, darling, come quickly. My lady Primrose, why, I feared we had lost you forever. <laughs> I feared the same, my dear. Oh, but the heavens can be merciful. Master Forsyth, I... You slept for three days and three nights. I... I see. That terrible man. That simian fled town before we could do a thing. Whatever does he hope to accomplish by such monstrous deeds? Everything about the man is a mystery. I was, however, able to convince one of his lackeys to talk. They say he makes for the town of Everhold in the mountains to the south of here. What business he has there, I cannot say. Then I know where I must go. Would that I could join you there, but I am not as young as I once was, and I have a family that needs me. Be safe, my dear child, and may you find the answers you seek. Thank you, Master Forsyth. I will. You can be certain of that. So yeah, I was definitely wrong about the portrayal. I thought, I thought uh, Forsyth was going to betray us at first, but... No, it was Simeon. I guess you really shouldn't trust a guy who resembles Sephiroth. And so, Primrose left home behind once more. Her ultimate goal finally in reach. Only one man, the leader of the Crows, remains to be dealt with. Yet, knowing his identity, each step she takes feels heavier than lead. The final act awaits her in Everhold in the Highlands. But will her tale come to a happy or tragic end? Well, only time can tell. Hey, Primrose, this is for you. Medicine? It'll fix you fast if it starts to hurt again. Thank you. Listen, I want you to take care of yourself, okay? I'm asking as your apothecary and friend. Thank you, Alfin. All right, so yeah, just a bit of encouragement from Alfin. All right, so let's see. We've completed all the chapter three portions of all the characters' stories, so let's see what we got here. So Alfin needs level 45. Ulbrick needs level 45, which he definitely, he definitely reaches that. He's in his 50s already. 45, 45. Okay, at this point, I think they're all going to be recommended level 45, <laughs> which they are. Okay. So, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that means we can just go to any of them we want for the next part. Well, once we get everyone else up to a high enough recommended level anyway. But, uh, yeah, that certainly took a turn. When he, when he did show up in like the uh in the manse i was immediately kind of like okay there's only one reason this guy would really be here and it's probably to stick a dagger in my gut which turned out to be on the money <laughs> i don't know why i didn't suspect him earlier <laughs> i immediately went to the kindly old veteran forsyth <laughs> maybe it's because my thought process was like uh forsyth is like a former aging warrior who has fought against this evil for a long time and he himself said he couldn't uh, beat it so maybe he just wanted to try and ensure his family's safety <laughs> versus Simeon who as far as I could tell just used to be uh, our gardener and a poet so I didn't really expect him to pose much of a danger which uh, I guess turned out to be the opposite of what turned out to be true. But now we know for certain what the identity of the Head of the Crow is, and we will not make that mistake twice. So, for now, I guess we will cut the episode here, and in the next part, I guess we will proceed on to Chapter 4 of Octopath Traveler. 
So until then, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. My name is Al, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!